All right, guys, thank you so much for your time and, and talking about this movie, which is awesome. I'm just going to get that out of the way so I don't kick out on you and I'm able to ask you questions. Uh, Kiki, your director says that the reason she's doing this type of sort of big scale movie is because she wanted to play in a bigger sandbox. How do you think she did? Uh, uh, and if, uh, if you guys ever even talk about that. So no pressure. She's there. She can hear you. But how do you think she did? <laughs> No, I mean, she uh, she came into the sandbox and, and dominated. Um, I mean, the, the movie, I I don't know. I guess it was one of those things when, when you in it and you're working so hard, like all of us were, and, like, and then to, to see what it became and to see all of the pieces that the director has to put together, come together, and I don't know, just be so dope. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, most definitely. So, Gina, uh, I mean, a lesser action movie usually fails because the action sort of either forgets or annihilates character. But this one, the characters enhance the impact of the action. action. Could you talk about sort of working on that as a director? Was that a challenge to be able to preserve that while you're doing these awesome things as an action director? Well, thank you. Um, yeah, abso for, absolutely. For me, I went in knowing what I love about action and, and the best action for me is action that tells a story that has a beginning, middle and end is character driven, is emotional. Um, so going in first, what is the story of the scene? And, you know, for me, I, I honestly, I started attacking it like I attack a love scene, which, you know, going in, okay, I know how to do that. You tell a story. And I realized it was the same thing with action. And so knowing what I wanted from that, I knew how important it was to have the actors really, be in that scene to give me that emotion, give me that character. And, and so it's one thing for me to say that it's another to find two actors willing to really go there so that they can be the ones on screen. And, and that's what we certainly had with Kiki. Cool. Thank you so much. So Kiki, you mentioned that you were excited to sort of get to play out to the, the rookie veteran dynamic with Charlize. Uh, but Charlize has done action movies before, so I wonder if you guys even addressed that behind the scenes, if, if that sort of replicated and helped with the relationship on screen. Uh, I mean, it naturally did. Um, you know, me coming in, being new to the genre and still pretty new to making film, period. I mean, there's still so much that I need to learn about making movies. Um, and so it was it was great though, uh, you know, coming in and being able to work alongside Charlize who has been, you know, so instrumental in representing women in the genre and just being able to really just sit back and watch her and learn and then kind of see that, I don't know, being able to, allow us to, to further personalize the relationship that Andy and Niall has, you know, as Niall is coming into this very new thing and trying to learn a lot very fast and make some adjustments. Okay, so let me, this is for both, but I guess Kiki can go first and then Gina. I so love the introduction to Niles when you see her as a soldier and with her, with other female soldiers, which is, you can't, you don't get that on screen. I don't think I've ever seen it before. So while you were shooting it, were you aware? Of, was that more important well, well, to get sort of that dynamic of who Niles was before? Did you think about that? Yeah, it was It was incredibly intentional. Um, her role and that group uh, unit that she's with is based on real FET teams, which were um, three or four women who would go into uh, villages and be able to talk to the women since men weren't allowed to. Um, and it was really important to establish who Niall was prior to her immortality. And, and I wanted to show her innate goodness, um, her innate toughness, and felt like we got all of that with the way that she interacted with those kids. Um, you see the playfulness, you see the goodness, um, but you see how she could turn it on as soon as she got that assignment, you know, to see the difference, but the way that she could take control of a room and take, take control of her fellow soldiers, it was, again, very intentional, but I thought a really great intro to her character. Yeah, most definitely. And, and I, I mean, like, I know you can go anywhere within the realm of this movie, but I would, would have loved to see. That's a whole nother movie that I would have loved to see. That's how great you guys did. So, Kiki, let me ask you this, because you mentioned about having still learned to learn filmmaking. But I wonder if it was exciting, the fact that you get to set, look at your sides and it's like, oh, I got a really like melancholy. She's dealing a dramatic scene in her working and then the next day, oh, today I'm jumping out of the window. So if you could talk about sort of a, the sort of the scope of that you took on with Niles, which must be exciting as an actress. Oh, definitely. I mean, that was one of the things once I, I read the script, uh, 
that got me excited was the opportunity to play with all of those different colors. Um, and I was excited because when Gina and I first met at the director session, you know, she made it very clear that she wanted to lean into, you know, the, the heart that Niall has and not let it get lost in all of the physicality, which made me as an actor feel great because although I'm entering into this very new genre, I can bring, you know, some of the stuff that I already know in terms of tapping into, you know, that more, I don't know, that vulnerability and, and be, I don't know, given space to include some of that. Uh, so I was, I was very uh, ha happy about that, yeah. Yeah, the fact that it's in the movie is what makes it really special. So, Gina, I'm about, they're about to wrap me, but so uh, in the olden times when you could go to the theater, I think that anybody that went to see Love and Basketball, it was sort of a seminal moment for us. I have a buddy who won't stop talking about it, which I actually appreciate. So let me ask you this. Is there something, what do you remember about that? And do you think that there was something from that movie that you were have been able to hold on to? as a filmmaker and keep using throughout your career? I think the, the greatest thing I learned about that film was to fight for your voice. It was a, a film that was so personal to me. It was a story I wanted to tell, um, but Hollywood wasn't making films like that, certainly not centered on on black women. And But I believed in it so much, so passionate about the story that it was worth that fight. And um, so that passion has absolutely carried me um, throughout my career, my Lord, 20 year career. Um, and I'm, I'm honestly, I'm grateful that I can still have that passion after everything. Well, it's still present on screen. So my time's up. Like I said, you guys, it's a fantastic movie. You should guys be really, really proud. Stay thank safe. You. And thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Juan. All right. Have a good one.